Today, I am pleased to introduce a fresh topic concerning Huawei founder Rin Zhengfei. Ren Zhengfei recently made an announcement, Huawei is fighting hard and making heroic sacrifices in the face of US semiconductor penalties. As we all know, Huawei's 5G services are much too powerful to be envied by the US IT industry. As a result, America issued a chip punishment. During a recent internal meeting, Ren Jingfei, the founder of Chinese tech giant Huawei, urged employees to fight amid the US sanctions, urging them to use hard work and heroic sacrifices to fight for a peaceful environment for the next 30 years, so that no one dares to bully the firm. According to a video posted on Huawei's online community Xinqing in October, the remarks were made during the setup meeting for the company's five new business units, a restructure and diversification effort as core smartphone and telecommunications equipment operations around the world struggle under US sanctions. This video is titled When There Is No Retreat, It's the Road to Victory. I believe in fighting for peace. We must use hard work and heroic sacrifices to create a peaceful environment for the next 30 years so that no one dares to bully us, Rin remarked during the gathering. We are dying for our nation and ourselves. Wait for the day when we drink celebratory wine together, when what goes unsaid speaks volumes, Ron stated. The new entities, often known as CORE, which include a coal mine CORE, Customs and Port CORE, Smart Highway CORE, Data Center Energy CORE, and Smart Photovoltaic CORE, are focused on digital transformation goods and services for a variety of sectors, using the company's telecommunications expertise. The new enterprises are also less reliant on chips, the supply of which has been significantly reduced due to the US chip prohibition. More than 300 individuals attended the conference from the five new groups, which will be tasked with charging and breaking through a new route for the corporation during the US confinement. According to sources, Huawei's goal with the core is to concentrate all of its elite workers, shatter barriers, achieve breakthroughs in critical areas, and develop new growth engines for the company. The fight until the end decision comes as the chip ban has hurt the firm income even more. In the first three quarters of 2021, Huawei recorded sales of 455.8 billion yuan, $71.19 billion, a vertiginous drop as its consumer business suffered significantly due to the US chip ban. Revenues decreased 32% from the same quarter previous year, when the company generated 671.3 billion yuan, a 9.9% increase year-on-year. Year. Analysts believe Huawei's ambition in new sectors such as coal mining is still in the investment phase rather than the profit phase, and that increasing efforts to boost self-reliance and make breakthroughs in the chip sector may be the only way for both Huawei and China's tech sector to defeat the US crackdown. Huawei consumer BG unveiled four privacy and security ideas and three promises for a better digital future at the Huawei Developer Conference 2021 which kicked out on Friday in Songshan Lake, Dongguan. With the combined efforts of developers and our partners, a brand new ecosystem has taken shape, said Kevin Ho, chief operating officer of Huawei Consumer BG, during the conference. A thriving Harmony OS ecosystem is just around the bend. Strategic determination is the most valuable attribute. Huawei has come to believe that strategic resolution is the most valuable trait. The all-scenario future, with hundreds of billions of connections among a plethora of devices, is rapidly approaching, and it has thrust ecosystem security into the forefront. Huawei has made cybersecurity and privacy protection one of its core development priorities since 2011. In 2018, Huawei plainly stated that cybersecurity and privacy protection were key concerns, and that it would never compromise cybersecurity for business reasons. Huawei has made four proposals for the security and privacy protection of its consumer business, which include adopting a top-down structure and process, developing an airtight privacy and security framework with industry stakeholders, co-developing a security verification framework, and opening security and privacy capabilities to ecosystem partners. Huawei has established stringent privacy and security standards, which include data security assurance, data reduction, data processing on devices, transparency and controllability, and identity protection. Our standards are really high. Services that do not adhere to the security and privacy principles and practices are not permitted to be published. Kevin Ho stated that cybersecurity and privacy protection are at the heart of Huawei's all-scenario ecosystem approach, which is why Huawei places a premium on both. Constant dedication to privacy and security. 
Huawei makes no compromises when it comes to privacy and security, and it always keeps its promises. At the conference, Kevin Ho, speaking on behalf of Huawei's consumer business, firmly proposed the three commitments for security and privacy, which assure users that privacy is a fundamental right of theirs and that Huawei considers user privacy and security to be top priorities, that user data will be fully encrypted and no one can access the data without user consent, and that users will always have complete control over their data and everything is subject to user authorization. Huawei uses new technologies to preserve user privacy and security, such as completely and systematically encrypting user data on devices and in the cloud using the hardware-level encryption profile approach, preventing unwanted access. Efforts have been made to retain Huawei's customer commitments without sacrificing them for cost savings. In terms of social networking privacy, a number of privacy safeguards have been made accessible, such as AI Private View, which blocks fresh messages from being displayed on the screen if someone else attempts to look at it. Sealed communications in MeTime cannot be screenshotted or forwarded, and fading messages may only be read once. In terms of phone repair, Huawei introduced the industry's first repair mode in 2018, allowing consumers to avoid data leakage while their phone is being repaired. Fundamental Ecological Protection Huawei has opened four security capability packages with more than 10 subsets for app ecosystem partners and two security capability packages with more than 30 subsets for device ecosystem partners, assisting developers in achieving greater success in the all-scenario ecosystem without compromising security. Today's world is structured by challenges rather than domains. Hundreds of billions of connections between entities characterize the intelligent connectivity age. Huawei not only deployed security and privacy capabilities developed over the years to products, but also exposed them to app and device ecosystem partners in the hopes of collaborating to construct an ultra-secure, all-scenario environment. We can all agree that security can only be achieved when the security of an ecosystem is maintained. Huawei also formally launched the Harmony OS Connect Ecosystem Device Security and Privacy Protection Guide during the conference for ecosystem partners to use when building devices. The Huawei Bug Bounty Program was established in 2018 to reward white hats that assist protect consumer security. Awards for detecting a single security flaw can reach 1.5 million yuan, $235,050, while awards for detecting systemic flaws can reach 8 million yuan. Hope is on track to chart the course of the future. Huawei wants technology to benefit people and to embrace prosperity with confidence and it regards security as a crucial corporate social responsibility. Efforts have also been made to enhance childcare, access to information, education and health, and environmental protection. Parental permission, which is necessary for creating kid accounts, allows parents to have complete control over how their children use gadgets. Only age-appropriate content may be displayed for such accounts. Payments made through a kid account must also be authorized by a parent. In terms of information accessibility, Huawei thinks that technology should be available to everyone. Every month, Huawei Screen Reader supports millions of users in utilizing their devices, and AI subtitles, which converts sounds into scripts, benefits about 1 million users. CTTL awarded Huawei 5 stars for design for the elderly skills in May 2021. Exploration of new technologies has always been a difficult and unpleasant process. The difficulty grows exponentially from the discovery of a single technology to the creation of an ecosystem. We must maintain our determination and perseverance to face many days and nights of hard work and solitude," Kevin Ho stated. He also stated that Huawei has always believed that client success comes first, followed by Huawei's success. This notion also applies to the creation of an ecosystem. In other words, the success of developers and partners takes precedence over Huawei's. Huawei is dedicated to establishing the Harmony OS ecosystem for the benefit of all humankind, according to the open-source principle of one for all, all for one. Hope is not something we should wait for, but rather a tool for determining where we are. The future has never been clearer, since we can see where it is heading. We may learn about Huawei founder Rin Zhengfei's company determination and the necessity of cybersecurity at the end of this film. Huawei understands users' worries about personal data privacy and how to prevent third-party platforms from leaking their data. At the same time, we see the consistent strength of Huawei's 5G and 6G technologies. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. How do you feel about Huawei's development in this video?
You may leave your thoughts or recommendations in the comments section below. Please continue to subscribe to our channel and enjoy our videos.